Hi there, and today we're going to look at set 40578, which is the excellent new sandwich shop set. Now recently I bought the advent calendars that I wanted this year and they were Lego City, Star Wars, Harry Potter and of course the new Guardians of the Galaxy. And with the advent calendars I got the great new sandwich shop as a gift with purchase. So what I'm going to do today is open it up, have a quick build and see what we get inside and see how I could modify it. Looking at the picture on the outside of the box it reminds me a lot of set 3438 which was the McDonald's drive through restaurant set from 1999. Now I don't actually have that set but strangely enough, I do have its sticker sheet to one day make the minifigure and a small McDonald's restaurant. But back to the sandwich shop. Here's what we get inside the box. But before we get into building it, if you end up liking what you see, please do hit the like button and of course subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of more of my videos. Now the set has 110 pieces and they come in three poly bags as well as a green plate and a small road plate. I especially like getting the small road plate in the set as when you buy the actual road plate pack you only get the version with the pedestrian crossing on it so it's nice to get a plain version. It's also great to get the minifig bicycle in bright green as this has only so far come in the Seinfeld set and also a Lego Friends houseboat set. So it's a new colour to add to my bike collection. There's only four stickers, two to go on the delivery bike and two menu boards for the shop. And here we have our finished sandwich shop. It was a nice, quick, little, easy build. I do like this set, actually. It's a nice gift with purchase. I do like it when we get uh, Lego City sets as gift with purchases. We've got our brick-built sandwich on top. It looks like it's an all-veggie sandwich, as we've got green, yellow, and red. I'm guessing that's uh, lettuce, cheese, and tomato. If any of you saw my video recoloring the new Lego City uh, passenger train, you'll know I don't particularly like green, but I do quite like it in this instance. The darker green, as opposed to that horrible lime green on the uh, passenger set, uh, looks good against the white so the green white awning here looks really nice we have got our delivery driver here and he's got this huge box on the back of him and you may have saw in the build that oh, we've got a little sandwich in there and because all these are one by one uh, pieces they all have their uh, counterparts as spare pieces so we can make another entire sandwich on its own out of our spare parts this is the other minifigure you get in the set and she's got a mobile phone in her hand so i guess the sandwich shop is enabled with a mobile order so she can order and then pick them up later however that does mean that with our delivery guy with his helmet he doesn't have any alternate uh, face or hair i'm not entirely sure who's manning the shop if he's out delivering and she's ordering by my reckoning we're minus one shopkeeper as I said earlier, it's really great to get the bicycle in a new colour, which I don't have before. Although I'm not entirely sure why they always insist on putting one of these yellow double slopes in the middle of uh, road plates as a speed bump. I don't think it's entirely necessary here. As I imagine, if you're doing a drive through order, you'd pretty much want to stop here to pick up your sandwich anyway. So I think the speed bump's pretty unnecessary. I think this part's meant to be the drive through ordering point. So I imagine you speak into here while you're looking at the menu of the three different sandwiches that you can buy. However, the ordering point is only two studs away from the collection hatch, although that obviously can't be helped with such a small set. If you're buying your sandwich on foot, there's a nice little shady umbrella to stand under and add ketchup and mustard to your sandwich and stand outside in the sun while you eat. It's very basic on the inside, just a small shelf with a coffee cup. So after saying how basic some of the elements of this set are, I do actually really like it. Like I said earlier, it does remind me of that McDonald's set from 1999. 
It's a shame you only get the two minifigures with no one serving at the hatch, but after all, it is a free gift with purchase, so I shouldn't really complain. But what I haven't told you so far is that when I bought the advent calendars, I also bought a few other smaller sets, and I placed all those sets across two separate orders, which means I've got two sandwich shops, which is the perfect starting position for a good modification. So to get started, I stripped down the two sandwich shops to their bare minimum, and I've got the road plates in front. And unlike my normal mods, where I plan them out and maybe need to order a few parts, I'm going to do this as I go along. I haven't planned anything yet. I'm going to only do it from the parts I've got, so I'm not going to order anything. This is going to happen completely live from me recording. Um, see what parts I've got. Um, if I haven't got it, I'm going to have to change my plans. I'm just going to make it up as I go along and see how it goes. So first job is to fix those road plates, get rid of those speed bumps. I'm using one of the umbrella stands to pop those two speed bumps out and then we can use the 2x4s that are on the front to cover up the gaps of course we're going to use the ramps on each end so that's fine and then there are some 1x4s on the green plates so they can go here and here but that means I'm two 1x4s short but that's fine I'll go to my roads drawer and get the bits I need and here's my two 1x4s, and our road is fixed and ready to go. So my plan is to combine these two. So first of all, we're gonna get rid of the two sandwiches on the top and pull off the roofs. And then we need to join the two together. So if I pull these two off, and we can turn one of those around, and join them together like that. What we could do with is a door so if i pop that glass out the end we'll see what we can find in my doors drawer to go in there now i'm thinking for this we definitely want a modern kind of door so we could just go for clear glass that would match the um, windows we've got there's a black door so we could use that one but that's got tinted glass it wouldn't match quite as well so what else we've got plain gray wouldn't really match so i won't go for that yellow ah. There's a red one that's got oh, that's got trans blue glass in it so it wouldn't entirely match but the red would at least match the red of the windows so let's pop that one in and see how that looks so first we'll try the red one i'm gonna click that in see how it looks and with the red and the red that looks quite good we'll just try the clear one just to see what that looks like Well, the glass looks better, but I think that's a little bit more boring. The red kind of matched better, so I think we're going to stick with the red one. At least then we've got a little bit more of the, that red accent colour on the side of the building. So there we go. It's extended. Now I just need to work on the roof. So here are two roof sections. We obviously need to pop off the side of each one of those. So let's get those pieces off that one and reverse off this one. And then pop those on. And we will be a little bit short after that. So we need a 2x4 to go in the middle. So I'm pretty sure I've got some of those. So let's go and check our 2x4s. Like I said, I was pretty sure I had some 2x4s in that colour. And I did. So one is going here. But that's going to be a bit uh, loose here. So what I'm going to do, I've actually got two of them. So I'm going to place another one underneath. Just to give it a bit of strength at the back there. Then to fill in the gap on the slopes, we're just going to use the bits we took off. So we're going to use the two 2x2 two two slopes. Or that one, or that one, or that one. And now we just need to try and find some green tiles to go in the gap. So I didn't have any 1x6s, but I got a 1x4, but unfortunately, it's the wrong green. No green 1x2s. So it's going to be a little bit messy, but the best I can do to fill this gap is use the two 1x2s that came off the uh, sides from down here, and then fill the last gap with two 1x1s. Next, we're going to reinstate that giant sandwich on top. I think we only need one on the sandwich shop, but what I didn't like is that it um, faced this way. What I'd prefer it is if it was 45 degrees and facing outwards like that. However, we can't do that with this. So if we stick a stud in there, hopefully we can uh, twist it on that. So I need a one by one plate to sit in the middle and then we can rotate it round. 
So there we have our one by one round plate to go in the middle of that. And then hopefully our sandwich can sit nicely pointing outwards. Now we definitely need the outside seating area back. And this is currently sitting on two uh, six by 10 base plates. So this is 20 studs in total. And if we stick one of those curves back on this end, um, that makes us, takes us to 26. I like everything in my city to be on a 32 uh, grid system. So we need to extend this by another six. So we can either put our other curve plate on the other end, but I think that seems a bit of a waste. We kind of want uh, all the seating area at one end um, and that's not going to work. So we need to see if we've got a six by six uh, base plate in green. So that was a little bit touch and go when I opened the drawer. I could only see white, grey and black initially, but there was a green one at the bottom. I've also got a 6x12 in case I wanted to get rid of that slope. So we can either do our 6x6 and our slope uh, curved uh, plate rather that was there on the original set, or we can replace it and keep it all square and have a 6x12. I actually think I'm going to stick with the curve just because it adds a little bit of interest. So we're going to click those two together and add the tables back in. Now I've just realised that these two aren't going to stay together just by those tables holding them together. We might be able to keep these two uh, with a table, but that one's not going to join up. So I think the only thing we can do is reinstate the road being attached to them. So it's back to the road drawer, get a couple more 2x4s and then we can attach all this together. Now we can add the two tables back in and we're pretty much done. So to finish off, we just need to reinstate a few other things and also convert one of those bicycle delivery boys into a server on the inside of the shop. Now it's not the exact same green, but it's the only green hat I had. So we've got a different face on this guy and also a green hat so he can work in the shop and this guy can be delivering the sandwiches. So we've got our double sandwich shop. We've improved on the original one. We've actually got someone serving sandwiches behind the counters there. When they get busy, they can always open up that second serving hatch and serve twice as many customers. We still got that drive through ordering point and of course our delivery guy. And the sandwiches are so tasty that even minifig Jez has come along to have one. By my calculations, I think I've only actually used nine or ten parts to do this. If I'd been ordering parts in, I may well have done this centre section slightly differently and done a brick wall there instead of a glass panel. But with what I've got, I think that looks pretty good. So let me know in the comments below what you think. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more LEGO videos. Yeah.